Oh, we need to bring our perception of our ability up because when we lack confidence at work, it holds us back from getting as far as we can. I would say it holds us back in life. You want to run for PTA, but you're worried about what the other women and men on the team might think. You want to run a marathon, but you don't think you've got the ability. You want to learn Spanish. Are you really up to it? You want to go across the room to meet that interesting looking stranger at the party, but you're worried about getting rebuffed. Confidence is what's going to get you there. And it's particularly important in the workplace. There was a great study done by a guy called Cameron Anderson out in Berkeley in California. And Cameron Anderson studies the relative importance of, of competence and confidence when it comes to success. He gives his students a quiz, a historical quiz, and they just have to tick the things that they recognize. And in that quiz, he puts in what he calls a few fakes. There's a Queen Shabab makes an appearance, and there's a Murphy's Last Ride. So he gets the students to tick all these things. And the students who tick the most amount of fakes, he deems to be the most overconfident. They think they know more than they actually do. They're probably also a little bit less competent than the others. Fast forward to the end of the academic year, the students who are the most overconfident are the ones who have the most status in the group. They are the ones whose ideas kick up to the next level, who are universally respected and admired, who are seen as the leaders in the group. They have the most success. His conclusion is that when it comes to success, confidence matters as much, if not more, than competence. When I first did this interview, I write this book with a co-author, Claire Shipman. I did this interview with Cameron Anderson. And Claire said to me, no, 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 Catty, I think you've got this wrong, which doesn't suggest a lot of confidence in her co-author. <laughs> and it can't possibly be true. I mean, it's just, it's, it's an absurd idea that competence could not be as valuable as confidence. So we back, went back to Cameron Anderson, and sure enough, this is his conclusion, that confidence matters more than competence when it comes to success. And then we thought this was so depressing, we almost didn't put it in the book. Because for women, it's anathema. We are all about competence. We think that if we put our heads down and we work hard and we play by the rules and we color in the lines, somebody will come along and tap us on the shoulder and tell us our natural talents have been rewarded. And then we've looked around us, kind of irritated, as the guys around us have got promoted over us and pay rises bigger than ours, and we knew they weren't more competent than we were, but they had something else. They had confidence. And we decided we needed to put this in the book because it is time for women to redefine what talent really means. A part of talent is having confidence. It is that ability to speak up in a meeting, to come up with new ideas, to tell your boss when you've had a success, to go for that promotion, uh, to be in the forefront of the team and show leadership capacities. That is confidence and it matters when it comes to success. And I think it's time that women rather than kind of shying away from this idea, embrace it because it's something that we can all learn.